Good morning, guys. It's uh, Sunday. I know I haven't recorded much. I got back from vacation and I got sent on this trip for work. I want to talk to you guys a lot about that later. Uh, right now, I'm just going to get right into it. I am on my way to the gym. Going to do chest. And this is like the first time I've really worked out because on vacation, I only worked out like once, I think. Maybe we went twice. I can't even remember. And then I couldn't work out on this trip. There was no gym. I'm on my way, I'm running late, so I'm gonna get off. All right guys, just got back from working out. I didn't have my stand, so I didn't record the workout, but that's good because I'm just warming back up and everything, you know what I mean? A little sore, but uh, by next week, I should be back in the full swing of things since I've been working out every day this week. So, excited for that. Ordered some food. I'm gonna intermittent fast till about one o'clock today just to get back in the swing of things. Got some Subway, just got a spinach wrap, with some lettuce, some pickles, banana peppers, and rotisserie chicken. So super lean, I wanna get myself introduced to eating healthy again, and I'll probably eat clean later today. This is the first day that I've eaten healthy in so long, so hopefully I make it through the rest of the day. We'll start tomorrow, 100%, tomorrow. <laughs> Baby, is that real? Is it 10.52? Get that off me. It's 11 o'clock? Yeah, this is what you do. <sighs> That's what I do on my off day. I guess I sleep in. Babe, champions need rest. Remember that. I'm one of the only people that shower before I go to the gym. I'm gonna hit arms today. These guys are looking small, so. I'll see you guys in a minute. working out on the way home. I'm hungry. I'm thinking uh, either Chipotle or Panera. Easy to calculate macros that way. Those are nasty. You've never had them. They're nasty. You've never had them. Bad. This is like a new supplement one. Yeah. And girls really like it. I it's bet. vegan. Yep. I bet. It's you eat meat. What, what's the point? You like meat. It's probably just healthier. Just it's probably healthier for you than me. Oh. Okay. It's natural. How often do you get chunks of meat inside your energy drinks? They're probably all vegan and you don't even realize it. I'm gonna order, show you guys what I get when I get it. Kick back, it's a beautiful day. She's gotta study. This just means video game time for me. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Made a mistake. Didn't videotape me eating Panera, so I'm gonna throw what I got up to the right, and I'm gonna throw the nutrition facts up to the left. I took screenshots of both of them. Um, pretty lean sandwich, it's quick, it's easy, and it tastes good. Uh, what are we doing for dinner? Sushi. Babe, are you excited for the sushi? She keeps playing these video games, she's stuck. I mean, she's lost RuneScape right now. She got into it, and she's just addicted. She just won't, she won't stop looking at the screen. Why? I don't play video games. She's not playing video other games. Other than The Sims. Yeah, okay. That's not a game. Yeah, it is. It's not a game. Let's go see Sophie. Eat some food. Estimate the nutrition facts. Get on with the day. Back to gaming for me. I don't know if you guys heard that. Yeah, with what hand? I'm gonna go carry everything, as usual. So, right here we have Rainbow Roll. Check. Salmon avocado roll, check. Tuna avocado roll, check. I'm not gonna use the goody good sauce because it is, it is. No, I said use it sparingly because it's definitely a cheat, definitely. It's okay, Sydney wants to cheat. I'm just stepping this up to a new level, so I'm not gonna play that game. What's that? It's coming out. Let's open this, please. Don't spill it. You were using... <laughs> yeah, I can't get it out. Let's see how this is. I hate you. Oh, not bad. I'm gonna slam the sushi. I'm gonna get back to priorities right now. We're on escape. <laughs> and then we'll probably watch a movie and go to bed. So I'll check in with you guys if anything else changes, but I think that's it for tonight. She's hungry. She's hungry. <laughs> Good night. Are you coming? 
You may enter. What's up guys, Sunday, just got here, about to work out. Yes, I've been a bum these past few weeks, so I'm gonna get back right in the gym right now. Michael's waiting for me in there, so. Got new wrist wraps, tough. But uh, yeah, we got a lot to do today, so we're gonna jump right back into it. Um, really no excuse, I really don't have an excuse. Lazy, I was being, I was being lazy, I was being lazy. So we're gonna get back in, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Uh, we're just gonna go get to work. All right guys, singles today. 285 to start. 295 for well, 305. 305. 225. Touch and go. All right guys, first meal of the day, gonna have Panera. So I got whole grain bread, roasted turkey, avocado, arugula, lean, easy, quick. Beautiful day outside, it's like 90 degrees right now. It's super humid though. Gonna enjoy this meal. And I got some work I gotta get done today, but we'll just keep going. I'll show you guys what I'm eating. We're gonna jump right back into it. Ain't that right, show? What we got here? Little sushi, salmon, tuna, avocado. What you got? Same thing, salmon. Where's your, where's your cheat food that you're eating? No! Oh, that was so loud. You just broke someone's ear. Someone's watching this and you broke their ear. Sophie, you wanna go outside? <sighs> feed you when you're done. Go potty, Sophie. Oh, it's beautiful out tonight. That's gonna be it for my macros tonight. Those two rolls of sushi mixed with the Panera I had earlier. Just trying to get in the habit of eating clean again. I really messed up these past uh, couple weeks. I kinda just went off the deep end. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So just jumping back into it. Lift went well. Worked on some singles, did some dumbbells afterwards. You guys didn't see the dumbbells. I never record those. After I got back from my trip, it was a Honda trip. It was pretty incredible. some some things I wasn't allowed to record uh, I signed like a non-disclosure or something like that so you guys aren't gonna see anything like too too insane but uh, I had a really good time at that trip I learned a lot about Honda what goes in the Honda met some pretty incredible people so I'm going to bed probably in like two hours I'm gonna watch some Lucifer with Sydney summer shredding isn't over it's not over good morning so come here where's your toy you got had a girl. All right, waking up now. About to go to the gym. Got a lot of work to do today. Starts with the gym. What's up, guys? Just finished my workout. About to head to the shop. I need a post-workout shake. Absolutely destroyed my arms today. Like I, I, I can't even touch. I can't even touch my shoulders. Almost, almost there. We almost got it. Good pump. Actually, pretty good strength, you know, for not being as consistent as I, I want to be. I can't believe that I'm still holding as much strength as I am. I think part of it is starting to eat clean again. I got to stop eating my crap. I want to sleep all day when I do that. Um, yesterday was clean. The day before that was clean. We've just been on a clean streak lately. So going to shop, going to get a post-workout shake. Pretty exciting stuff. Got the sign going up. 
front of the building's painted. We still got a little bit of paint work to do, but for the most part, it's done. So this right here, this is about to be replaced by our logo. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're gonna have a giant one of these stickers on the wall, and it's gonna be illuminated in the back, which is gonna be sweet. So that's gonna be nice. We're gonna have one of the logos up there, and it's gonna be um, the same thing that's gonna be on the front of the store because now that the building's done, they can throw the sign up. It's gonna have like a halo illumination design behind it. We got some good things in the works. We're probably gonna add to the signature wall since it's packed. We're either gonna do an extension this way or put something over there. There's this website called Iconic and they have like motivation art. I'm thinking about buying one like per month or one per week until we have the wall filled up with motivational sayings, basically. I think that'd be really cool. Customer Appreciation Day on Saturday. That's lit. Shawnee boy is on the saddle now. He's running this place. Plaza's coming together. They're painting pretty much all the front. That's gonna help us drive some traffic. The road is done, so construction's done. We got a lot of exciting things going on, but uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna make my shake. See you guys in a little bit. New shake. I was gonna do white chocolate Reese's, but I remember when I was younger, I used to go to this place called Tropical Smoothie. There was this peanut butter paradise. I always used to get peanut butter, banana, scoop of vanilla protein. I just recreated it and it's incredible. I think it's gonna go on the menu. So what do I got now? I gotta meet with Steve at 6.30, so I got a little time to kill. Lately, I haven't been working at the shop and this is when you kinda just gotta look at yourself in the mirror. It's kinda been out of sight, out of mind. And, you know, I spent a little bit of time trying to find people to take over a lot of the responsibilities of it because I felt like it was taking too much of my, my free time and I feel like everybody needs free time but then I kind of realized how motivated I used to be and I used to talk about how there was no limits and, and you got to keep your eye on the prize and the grind is, is supposed to be part of the enjoyment, it's part of the dream, you know, and I feel like I've gotten away from that and I've been trying to make the grind easier and I feel like everybody's guilty of that, you know. Here and there, I feel like everybody, they find little ways to cut corners. And what you don't realize is when you separate yourself from the dream, it gets away from you. I mean, there's really no other, there's no other way to put it. It gets away from you. If it's out of sight, it's out of your mind. And there's no way that anybody can look at me and seriously say that their dreams are coming true even though they're not focusing on them. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror, accept when I'm doing something wrong, Realize that it's it's something wrong and figure out a way to improve. There's definitely always room for improvement So I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now, you know I, I might be doing really well on the car side of things. We're making big improvements at at the dealership, but I definitely have stopped focusing on the smoothie shop and the numbers have dropped I'll be honest with you guys the numbers have dropped not to anything dangerously low, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror I realized that I got a little bit lazy and going on this Honda trip and coming back from vacation, it really opened my eyes to what businesses can be like when you focus on the things you should focus on. Me as a business owner, trying to solve the problem without being at the shop isn't working. I'm talking to Sean, he's working at the shop a lot more. I have a lot of confidence in him. For him, this is his first manager type position that he's had in his life and I think he's excited for the opportunity. He's definitely bringing some new ideas to the table and I really appreciate that. Really excited to be partnered up with somebody that I feel like is genuinely invested. I'm proud of him. He, he came up with a couple good ideas and the Instagram's starting to look better. If we get a couple more things nipped in the bud, I think that this place will really be killing it. So I'm excited to meet with Steve later, guys. I kind of just went off on a tangent, let you guys know how I'm feeling, the thought process that I'm having. It's kind of what this channel is all about. Staying motivated, you know, it's the journey to success. You never achieve success. Success is always changing. Once you achieve the goal that you have, the goal is going to change. You're going to have a new goal. You're going to want more. That's life. So I want success. Success is always changing. And um, I have a lot of work little seven minute rant. Nothing like a seven minute rant. Hey babe. Give her a little kiss. Where's mine? Make her day better. Sean wants a kiss too. We're going, we're gonna chill. See you guys next time.